Greetings, this is Ben Murray, Founder and Instructor at the SAS Academy, and welcome to the SAS in 60, where I teach the basics of a SAS metric or concept in 60 seconds. Today's topic, we're going to be walking through a SAS revenue recognition example. So the setting, let's say a customer signs a three-year SAS agreement. We invoice annually for $12,000 a year. The customer signs on March 15th, and the subscription starts April 1st. So we have a total contract value of $36,000, or $12,000 per year. So again, we sign March 15th, so subscription starts April 1st. So our first step, so we just closed this contract, executed by both parties, so we can invoice the customer based on the payment terms. In this case, we're invoicing right away. So we invoice the customer on March 15th. So with this transaction, we debit accounts receivable for 12,000 and we credit deferred revenue for 12,000. So on our balance sheet, we'll see 12,000 in AR and 12,000 in deferred revenue because right, we cannot recognize this revenue yet. We have not earned it. The subscription starts on April 1st. So now we're in April, actually we're at the end of April and we can recognize revenue. So we're one month into this contract and one month into the 12 months of the $12,000 subscription. So now we can apply the revenue recognition principle. So we're going to debit deferred revenue for a thousand, which decreases our deferred revenue balance, and we're gonna credit subscription revenue for a thousand. So that creates revenue on our P&L. So you can see we have AR of 12,000 because the customer has not paid us yet. Deferred revenue originally started at 12,000, now it's down to 11,000. Now a couple weeks later, our customer pays us. So they send us a check for 12,000. We can now debit cash for 12,000, increases our cash balance, and we can credit AR, which now decreases our AR by 12,000. In this case now, it's simply moving the 12,000 of AR uh, from AR to cash. And now we're, it's May 31st, we're in month two of our software contract, and we can recognize another month of revenue. So we debit deferred revenue, and we credit subscription revenue. Again, crediting revenue creates revenue on our P&L. So we still, you can see, we haven't spent the 12,000 in cash, and now we're down to 10,000 of deferred revenue because we're two months into this contract. We're pulling $1,000 a month, from our balance sheet in deferred revenue liabilities over to our P&L in revenue. Now remember, invoicing our cash receipts does not mean revenue recognition. We have to apply RevRec principles. And if you have any questions, questions about revenue recognition specific to your company, make sure you consult with a licensed CPA firm knowledgeable in the SaaS business model. To learn more about this metric and other metrics, check out the sasacademy.com and the sascfo.com.